And we're underway here at Dolphin Stadium, and it's a short kickoff, and immediately the Wallaroos fly through, and it's the captain, Michaela Leonard, making the first hit. Liana Michaela Tu'u with the first carry for the Black Ferns. They come back to the near side through Bremner, and putting it through the hands immediately to the dangerous Paul on Dabu. Metarangi, Paul with her first touch. That'll be a nerve settler in the Wallaroos. Rip it away in contact and turn it over. Good start. Defence was the order of the day from Jade Tregoning. Speaking to him pre-game, he said they have to D up tonight. Now Dallinger with the ball in two hands. Takes it into contact. Tackled by Brunt. So the whistle goes. We'll come field. back for the knock-on. Dallinger wanting to get her hands on the ball early, probably settling a few nerves, taking that hit in. The Black Ferns had a good start themselves. On a few metres down the sideline, but good steal from the Wallaroos in response. Yeah, Tanya Naden, it was. Number two, the hooker for the Wallaroos. Ripping the ball away and a couple of nice carries. Here it is here, just ripping the ball away after Eva Kapani going low on her opposite number. So the first scrum of the night, Cheatham, Naden, Kapani in the front row for the Wallaroos, Henwood on Dabu, Ponsonby and Kaluni Vale, the Black Five. Ferns front row. Six. Wayne Morgan puts it in, goes down immediately, here it is for Morgan. Wong in at first receiver and drops a nice little ball to Cecilia Smith. Little switch play. Off the scrum. And good shift there from Hamilton. And the Wallaroos making good metres. Dallinger out the back. And here it is for Stewart in some space. Takes the tackle. Stays in the field of play. They get up and go again, the Wallaroos. Good continuity. Dallinger taking the ball to the light. Oh, it's solid contact, solid D though from the Black Ferns. They have the scrum advantage and will come back for the scrum. Vicious defense from the world champs. Both teams getting into it, the Black Ferns. They are the best in the world, giving off nothing in these first few minutes. Wallaroos making their intentions clear, trying to stick to their structures. Quite narrow in their play just then. Yeah, a little switch pass with to Cecilia Smith, number 12 for the Wallaroos to try and get across that advantage line and lay a little bit of a platform for Lane Morgan at scrum half. The second scrum of the match. So the first scrum went down. Marino Tahini. Bring the ball in. Yeah, Marino Marino. Tohinu, they come short side and put on the toe. Has she overcooked it? Just will come back for a line out up towards halfway. So a little error there from Marino Tohinu. It's a good opportunity for the Wallaroos here. Done a lot of work on their set piece, particularly their line out. Notice with the selection, they have three options for the line out. Caitlin Leaney in there at six, and then that third option up in the air. Yeah, tall side, this Wallaroo side, with Leonard, Cody, and Leaney. And you've got Grace Hamilton jumping as well. Leaney wins it off the, the top. Welcome back to Caitlin Leaney from Harlequins in the UK. Hamilton rushed up on her quickly. Does well to recycle. Dallinger, little chip over the top. Looking for Fredericks. Well read, though. Beautifully read by Brunt. And Black Ferns look to put it in behind. Straight down the throat of Wong. Chance to counter-attack now for the Wallaroos. Maleka, Fredericks. Fredericks looking to try and get on the outside of Duplessis, but Duplessis drags her down. And the service is a little ropey for Cody, but Cody does well to pick it up off the boot laces. Still there for the Wallaroos. Dallinger playing very flat. And Wong around the corner. Leaves it behind. 
cleverly. Here it is for Cheatham. Cheatham into half a gap, finds a skipper in Leonard. Quick ball for the Wallaroos. Back inside to Leaney. They're working the tram tracks, the Wallaroos at the moment. Cheatham backing up for another carry. And again, this time she gets through. Cheatham up towards the 22. Dallinger goes out the back to Smith. And the hands, the ball hits the deck. And it'll be a scrum to the Blackferns. Nice play for the Wallaroos across the back line and Carice Dellinger starting to get her hands on the ball a little bit more at the first receiver. That fly half and tell you what, both wingers for the Wallaroos are going to be dangerous. Maya Stewart on the right and Vani Wong on the left and Cheatham. A couple of really nice carries across the advantage line. Some good clean out work as well to allow some quick ball. You talked about using the wingers in Maya Stewart and Ivani Set. Wong as well, using those options down the side, that speed. So the Black Ferns under some pressure off the back end. Marino Tohinu loses it forward, so the Wallaroos force the error. That was Lane Morgan, pressure from her at scrum half on Mika Ali Tu'u, the number eight for the Black Ferns. Well, Michael Atkinson is sideline, it's breezy down there at Co. Yeah, it says 17, but it feels like seven, Swaney. I just wanted to give a bit some props, pardon the pun, to Brianna Cheatham, obviously holding her own at scrum time at loose head prop there. But that charge, uh, an incredible run from the number one and a big week for her. She's getting married on Saturday. She's been given special permission to fly to Canada for the Pacific Fours on Sunday while the rest of her teammates head off tomorrow, I think it is. But she's going to tie the knot to her partner, Craig, on Saturday. So she looks very much keen for tonight and keen for a big celebration Saturday as well. I'll tell you what, you wouldn't want to get injured tonight. Touch wood. <laughs> you want to be able to oh, walk down the aisle. It, Timmy. <laughs> well, it's risky. I don't think there'll be anything stopping her from walking down the aisle, no. injury and all. Great crowd in here at Redcliffe. About 45 minutes north of Brisbane in Queensland and there's the replacements for the Wallaroos. Good to see M. Chancellor and Bella McKenzie back here in Aussie Shores. Yeah, they spent some time over playing in the UK for the Harlequins side, so three of the players for the Wallaroos back, and Laurie Kramer as well, who's in the squad, not in the team at the moment. And some good experience over in the UK Premiership for the women's team. Time back on. Approach. Five. So here it is for the Wallaroos, Smith with the first touch and a good charge forward from Cecilia Smith. Ball pops out though, it's been turned over beautifully there by the Black Ferns. Bremner in possession. The Black Ferns into a bit of shape through Henwood. Bremner and now Holmes out wide to Vaha'akola.
पैदल करो So it's their scrum. It's a scrum. They, they will clarify it.
Chan, coming up to you. On field decision is a try. We just want to double check touch before she kicks it. And then just clear that grounding for us, please. Celia Smith there as well. The ball goes deep to Fredericks. And she's taken high. Play on though. 
Ballinger shifts it along the line to Hamilton. Leonard, the captain. And that one left behind there by Chiefham, and she cops a whack for her troubles as well. That'll be a Blackburn scrum. You can see the intent of the Wallaroos with this big breeze behind them, just to understanding they've got to run the ball first and try and get back into this game, get some sort of momentum. That looks high on Fredericks, that first tackle after the kickoff. Well, it was a bit of a seatbelt tackle, wasn't it? Great right scenes. Theron didn't pull it up, the referee. Terrific view. Seats Here about 10,000 people here in Redcliffe, so it'll be pretty close to that at the moment. Which... Yeah, biggest crowd ever at a Wallaroos test domestically. And breaking off the back is Mikaela Tu'u, and she's going to go all the way, is she? No. Nope. Drops it off the deck, and oh, what a start to the second half from this Blackburns team. And it's Metarangi Paul getting her second try on Dabu. That is a blistering start to the second stanza, and it's Paul who is shining bright like a diamond. The Blackburns capitalising on the mistake from the Wallaroos. Anna Michele too. It's put that off the back of the scrum and far too much space given to have a run. Renee Holmes there again. She's been busy tonight. Metarangi Paul is patiently waiting out wide to cross over. Gee, she had a little bit of work to do as well, didn't she? Metarangi Paul off her right foot and get around to Vania Wong and get across the try line for her second try on debut. Crowd went up as one. I to mention to you. Thank you, Ali Tu'u off the back of the scrum, the big number eight, just pounced along and Maleka, a good tackle around the legs, but the, the damage was done off the back of the scrum. So the strike goes across the face. Blackburns with a commanding lead, 31 nil. And Metarangi Paul was the second top try scorer in Super Rugby Opiki. Yeah, Luca Connor is the replacement hooker. Seven tries in that competition, so he should be coming off the bench later on tonight. The replacement hooker. So Mayrus, the first carry. Ramna goes out the back door and the Black Ferns now starting to express themselves. Holmes is standing off Renee Holmes. She easily takes play over halfway. Demant to Bremna. And a nice little offload there to Mika Elatu'u. That's a nice turnover though from the Wallaroos. And Kapani. Throws the arms out, but again it's been turned over by the Black Ferns. And then it comes over again to the Wallaroo side. So the breakdown is an absolute lottery at the moment. Moleka puts it high, needs it to stay in the field of play, just checks right into touch. Good territory there for the Wallaroos. There's a lot of back and forth just then. Lick the ball way than the other. Wallaroos ended up with it. Moleka just gain some possession for the Wallaroos. Their lineup's been good tonight. As you see here, Renee Holmes, this incredible run, just turning the defenders inside and out. And so lethal in space. And really been exposing these outer channels. Ash Masters starting the pilfer there. Here it is for the Black Ferns. Kennedy Simon. Beast of a carry, but that one lost forward. So the ball hits the deck, and it is the Black Ferns with a commanding lead. It's a prime opportunity for the Wallaroos. Middle of the field, and the scrum's been good tonight. As you see, Black Ferns rolling in the subs. Early for the sub, is it, for the Black Ferns? 
Connor on in 16, Murray in 17, Amy Rule, Jersey 18. Opportunity for them to get a little bit of rugby in this second half. 31 0. Black Ferns leading the Wallaroos here. All new front row for the Black Ferns. Alan Bunting changing over. Try scorer gets a rest for the Black Ferns. First of the night. Wallaroos just holding their ground there, but it's a big shove from the Black Ferns. And they earn the penalty. The champs. Marino Tohinu looking around for someone to go quickly. Just got a shot of Luca Connor, the number 16 who came on for the Black Ferns. Replacement hooker. As you mentioned seven tries in the super uh, in New Zealand. I was just going to say, Tim, what a what a reserve bench to bring on. Luca Connor has had a find at try line. Amy Rule appeared in the Brumbies Super W and she was fantastic this season. Yeah, Amy Rule in jersey number 18. Yeah, Amy Rule really showed some wonderful glimpses of her talent in Super W this year and that one knocked down and it'll be a scrum advantage to the Black Ferns here. Came off a Wallaroo's hand, Demet. What's to Simon? The two co captains linking up. My Roos with an abrasive carry. Sensational stuff from Roos up towards halfway. And now Duplessis bumps off the tackle of Cecilia Smith. And now here's Rule. Brumbies this season in Super W. There she is again. Earned herself a try in the World Cup final against England last year as well. Holmes. The Brunt. Oh, brilliant from Sylvia Brunt. Using all the footwork and they get it out wide to Paul. And it's back to Holmes who lays it back. For Luca Connor. The Black Ferns on a tear here. Rule running back on the angle. Brought down five out. The Black Ferns going close here. But that one lost forward. And we'll pack it down. The Wallaroos out of jail. Wallaroos will get a breather from that one. The Blackburn's just relentless. Picking up right where they left off in the second half. You see Arabella McKenzie taking the field. Bruce Dallinger. Just talking about this combination between Renee Holmes, Sylvia Brunt, and Metalani Paul. On that right side, especially. Well, most of their tries there tonight. Fantastic. So Arabella McKenzie, Chris Dallinger in her first game against the Black Ferns. Michael Atkinson is sidelined and now that the Wallaroo is running with that breeze out there. What a time to bring on Bella McKenzie as well. Named in the team of the tournament over there in the Premiership 15. But it's good news to report on the crowd. 7,055, which is an absolutely outstanding turnout here at Dolphin Oval. And considering only a couple of days ago they were looking at maybe 4,000, so kids on school holidays, Blackburn supporters, Wallaroo supporters have turned out in force to get behind this, and the, the Blackburn certainly, they're uh, giving the crowd here a good show. I'm watching Celia Smith in the centres for the Wallaroo, is really uncharacteristic in her, just about three or four tackles in a row in the midfield, and Got her hands full with Sylvia Brunt running at her and Duplessy as well at 13. Wallaroos, Hamilton looking to take it 
off the back. McKenzie has to go in and clean out. So the Wallaroos need to free up Bella McKenzie for the clearance here. They go back to Maleka who sends a torpedo down towards the 10. Plenty of time here for the Black Ferns. Holmes with no pressure on. Weighs up her options and goes back to the far side but gets collared in the tackle. Here goes Murray. Her first touch of the pill. Bruce hands to Luca Connor who bumps off the tackle of Smith. And skipping out there is Marino Tohinu. Mika Eletu'u. Nice hands to Bremner. And Bremner brought down inside the 22. Hands to the right. Out to the dangerous Paul. Paul, brought down five out. That one hitting the deck, but picked up again by Roos. Black Ferns have numbers to the left. They keep it tight through Connor. Rule standing over. Going to go up the middle. Gifts it to Murray. Mikaela Tu'u is over for the try a second effort using the power in her legs to get herself over the line so it's another try to the black ferns six tries in total the black ferns just showing this right side they're favoring tonight Doing a fantastic job here Pass off to Metarangi Paul, taking the game line each and every time that they have the ball. There's a lot of patience shown from their forward back. Crystal Murray giving them some good go forward, and Diana Michaela too. She had a bit of work to do. The defenders all over her, showing that power and drive to get over the line. Yeah, the go-to players, Michaela Tuu at eight, and Sylvia Brunt in the 12 jersey. Both those two players have led this side tonight. And it's been a defensive effort as the team just wants to have a bit of a look at something here. Amy Barrett, they're on, referee. Having a quick look before the conversion is taken. Well, he's looking for some changes as well. So, you know, just having a look at this one. Holmes, big smile on the dial. Why not? He sides up 36 nil. Oh, she's been great tonight, Renee Holmes. Just great footwork and running off Sylvia Brunt. Has out wide Duplicy as well in there. Plenty of offloads the Black Ferns. They've worked on it. You can see how hard they work on it. Keep seeing here if there's a little knock on here from Bruce. That's what they were looking at there. And it's hit one of their own players in Ruse and then gone back to Murray, Crystal Murray, who Jersey 17, scored a try in the World Cup final last year. Crystal Murray. That's the that's the little bobble that they're looking at. It's the left hand of Ruse, so you'd think this would be called back. Does touch the arm, but it's worth black staying in contact with it. Just thought in position. Yeah. Tom, have you got a clear separation from? See if we get that left hand. Okay. If you've got clear separation, then we're cancelling the try, and it's a knock on. Okay. And that's just confirming the mark. It's pretty much where we're standing at the moment. Okay. No try. Mm. No try. So that one cancelled out. You can see just a little bit of separation with the ball from Crystal Murray. And the rules, so it's been pulled back and the 
Wallaroos get a chance now. Scrum, they're still deep in their own territory. Atco, Wallaroos making heaps of replacements as well. They have Slaney making three replacements. Emily Robinson, Emily Chancellor and Sarah Nagama coming on for Brianna Cheatham. Uh, oh, I've just missed, missed who else has come off, but I think it's very timely they've brought on Emily Chancellor. They need to do something to slow down the Black Ferns at the breakdown. Bye. New Zealand also making a couple of changes. A couple of debutantes, Iritana, Ohio and Rosie Kelly coming onto the field for New Zealand. Big scrum from the Black Ferns. They win the penalty. Enormous from the front row. The Black Ferns playing with all the confidence at the moment. Warriors have got on the changes. And Amy Robinson, an experienced scrummer herself, hopefully get to this scrum time. Crystal Murray in Jersey 17, outstanding, and Amy World, Luke Connor, an all-new front row for the Blackthorns, and they just squeezed in here as the ball went in. Rose. And Morgan put the ball in just as there was a little shove Bye. coming. And so the Waller is looking to spoil the party here. But what about the run here from Kelly? Picking it up. Black Ferns keeping it in tight. Mikaela too, who had one cancelled out before, looking to squeeze the ball over the line. Pick and go. Now they send it wide. Waller shut it down. Kelly. We are playing penalty advantage over here. And Rosie Kelly, Jersey 22, on debut for her first test match. Exciting for her. She replaced Sylvia Brunt. Rosie Kelly, just a little bit of miscommunication there and a... First few minutes onto the field, she thought the mum was running that short line, but run. was thinking more of a decoy run. <laughs> so the Black Ferns under pressure here. Still there for the Black Ferns though, Bremner. <laughs> Wallaroos ding up. And their set piece working a little better down this end of the field, but it's the Blackburn putting all the pressure on here. Kelly. Up the back to Duplessis. Duplessis. Brought down by Fricks. A higher. To Amy Rule. With the B line. Kelly. Some footwork from her on Debu as well. She's lively, had a lot of touches. Early on, great short ball there. Black Ferns creeping closer. Really dominant in this clash so far. Oh, what about the flat pass to Rule? And Rule brought down just short of the line. Oh, Kelly, long pass. And the Black Ferns. Still brought down just short. Vaha Akolo. And now the power drive here from Bremner. And Bremner's in. Chelsea Bremner getting the pats on the back. And again, they just keep it tight. The Blackbirds turn the screws and get themselves over for another try. Chelsea Bremner, absolute star of the Black Ferns. Simple play by the Blackburns for this try. Showed so much patience. One thing the Blackburns are doing, they aren't conceding when they have this ball. Each and every player working so hard to make that game line. Caitlin Vaha Akola almost had the try for herself, but Chelsea Bremner, two players on her, still powers over the line. It's been great depth from the back line for the Blackburns there. Sitting back a, a metre deeper and 
Allowing that one-on-one -on -one opportunity for the players outside of them. Chelsea Bremner playing alongside her sister Alana. Chelsea Bremner, she was the one who got the that line-out steal in the World Cup final last year for the Black Ferns to virtually win the match just before the Hooter. Holmes nails it. 38 nil here at Dolphin Stadium. There's a lot to fix up for the Wallaroos as they jump on a plane the next couple of days to go to Canada and to go to Ottawa and 8th of July play the USA then the 14th of July play Canada and Jay Tregoning has got plenty to work on here with the Wallaroos. Defensively, very passive at the moment. Baha Akolo runs into a tackle from Chancellor and Fredericks. Bremner. Alana Bremner. Taking it for a carry. That one flat to Amy Rule. She has to reach behind and reel it in. Long pass from Dement out to Kelly. Rosie Kelly, it's been a handful since she's come onto the field. There it is for Iruz. And that one lost forward. So the Wallaroos now with a chance inside the Blackburn's half. Haven't seen that for a while, Kerry. That's right. This is an opportunity for the Wallaroos. 3-8-0 to start showing this team that we saw against Fijiana, so clear and decisive about how they were playing. Got some fresh legs out there. Point of difference into the game. Arabella McKenzie in that half. Great opportunity now for the Black Ferns. A lot of, as we said before the game and during the game, six making their debut here tonight for the Black Ferns. Three that start. Kane Henwood and... Colo and, and Paul who scored two tries and then now yeah, the back three Jersey 21 22 Rosie Kelly and and Williamson comes on for her debut as well. Yep, Tanika Williamson, an Olympic gold medalist with the sevens side makes her debut in a Black Ferns 15s jersey. McKenzie, that's good gain line from Arabella McKenzie. Here's Hamilton. Just slipping in the tackle. Morgan gives it back to McKenzie. They go left. Out to Masters. Masters yes. trying to create something. And now Wong under pressure. But whistle goes. Penalty to the Wallaroos. Kiri Bush better play there from the replacement. Arabella McKenzie coming on the field. A couple of nice carries. Something we didn't really see from Therese Dallin during that first half. Much better. And finding that strike power. So in that game against Fijiana, parking Ash Masters and Grace Hamilton on the outer channels on either side. Michael Atkinson, this is the Waller best opportunity of this second half so far. It is, Swaney. They haven't had many, so they need to make the most of it. The Blackburn's making a change at the moment. Kendra Reynolds, a loose forward, coming on the field. I can tell you right in front of me, just 30 seconds before she's gone on, Renee Holmes has come off the fullback for New Zealand, not resting on the bench. She had a ball under the arm and allowing Kendra Reynolds to tackle her and get up and get and steal the ball to make sure she was warm and ready to go. So that's a real team ethos here from the Black from the Blackburns. Okay, come back on. Kennedy Simon leaving the field. There's Tanika Willison, Olympic gold medalist, and making a debut in the Blackburns 15 jersey. Congratulations to her. That one overthrown from the Wallaroos. So the Blackburns in possession here. And oh, a lot of Bremner just steamrolling over Tanya Naden. And they pick and go through the middle, the Blackburns. That's where they've really beaten up the Wallaroos tonight, through the middle. And now they've got numbers to burn out on the left. Oh, and that one just coughed up from Kendra Reynolds. So the whistle goes. And we'll pack a scrum to the Wallaroos, but that was ominous from the world champs. Yes, one you could see the Wallaroos in the back line just shifting across and not going forward, very passive. You watch out wide here. LSI just shifting across, pointing, pointing. They had to sort of shift and drift. 
you're short of numbers, you really just got to go up and jam in. Haven't done that tonight, the Wallaroos. That's right, giving the Black Ferns the opportunity to run, especially on these outer channels where they've got speed out wide. Kendra Reynolds, it was a tricky ball to pull in. It's above her head. Wallaroos will have another crack here. Fault. Yeah, the scrum from the Wallaroos, Ellis Sayer, when it first receiver, and now McKenzie getting her hands on the ball, getting good quick ball around the corner, Hamilton. Here it is for McKenzie, holds up the ball for Fredericks, and Fredericks accelerates, gets the offload away to Naden. What can the Wallaroos muster here? McKenzie does well to pick it up off the bootlaces and gives it to Robinson. The veteran Emily Robinson, but the Black Ferns again, just beasts at the breakdown. You can't beat them there. They have all night had the Wallaroos measure at the ruck. Well, we talk about their attack through the night here, and Kendra Reynolds, jersey number 20, gets over the top of this. Probably the best passage of play for the Wallaroos tonight. Be able to get Friedrich into a little bit of space one on one. She's very hard to stop when she gets that half gap. That's right, Tim. We wanted the ball in the hands of crucial players, but that support play in the ruck. Warriors will be disappointed with that. So, ball goes into touch. Michael Atkinson right in front of you. That's exactly what Kendra Reynolds was practicing down here with Renee Holmes before she took onto the field. She wasn't practicing her catching, maybe why she dropped that ball in that passage <laughs> of play, but she was good over the ball and she won that one back for the Black Ferns. We haven't seen the Wallaroos get any headway in the ruck, even with Masters and Chancellor on together. So, Vaha Akolo holding onto the ball this time. She got absolutely barreled there by Cecilia Smith. Wallaroos decided to pack the scrum here. Yeah, I suppose it gives them an opportunity to be able to play off the back of this scrum with the way the new laws are. And of course, this match played in Redcliffe, about 45 minutes north of Brisbane in Queensland. And some people might be asking, where did the opening swing? We went to the opening of Ballymore today, the, the old Ballymore, now the new Ballymore, the, a couple of new stands going up. and. They were trying to play this match there at Ballymore, but the lights and the, the latest Ouch. flood about it, just over a year ago. Do you have a Tim Horn try line club here at the Dolphin Stadium like you do at Six. Ballymore? Not here, no. <laughs> no. Got the Kiri Lingman Cabana up here. Uh, all right. Backwards. Wallaroos under some real pressure. Maleka driven Back. backwards. And now Morgan having to go back and tidy up. They've lost 30 metres, the Wallaroos, just through. Absolute relentless defence from the Blackburns, and now they drive the Wallaroos off the ball. That is just sensational from the world champions. That's why they are so dangerous, and they come the short side now through Kendra Reynolds. Joanna Nan Wu on the field as well. It was her hand who stole the ball in that World Cup final to win the game for them. Black Ferns, oh, under pressure. Big shot there on Luca Connor from Cecilia Smith. They're still willing to put their bodies on the line, this Wallaroos team. And this time, it forces the Black Ferns to cough the ball up. So, Fredericks in possession. Ball's available. Nagama on the field. To see Sarah Nagama getting a Wallaroos cap. And McKenzie, that is a priceless clearance there from Arabella McKenzie. The depth in the kicking that we were talking about earlier, Tim. Clearance from Arabella McKenzie. Even that in trouble. It's a tough way home now for the Wallaroos. And what is it, six years to hosting a Rugby World Cup in Australia? They need all the six years to get close to these type of the top teams, England, Canada, New Zealand, France even. And, and the fitness level certainly this year has improved through the Super W here in Australia. But 
at this level at the moment. The Blackburns just haven't let the Wallaroos play any of their game at all. Friedrichs hardly touched the ball. Had not many runs one-on-one. -on -one. Mayor Stewart came off early. Giovanni Awong as well didn't get a lot of ball. The Blackburns just simply haven't let the Wallaroos get into this game, Kiri. That's right, and we talked about the continuity of the Wallaroos. The psychology Whoa. of having to play the best in the world. So the Blackburns drag it down. 14 minutes to play in this one. At Red Cliff in Brisbane. Use it once. She's come to the middle. Now it's there for the Wallaroos. Oh, McKenzie picks it off. And a swarm of black jerseys get around Arabella McKenzie. But it's still there for the Wallaroos. Alessia with some room to move. It gets shut down very quickly by Dimart. And now Fredericks floating the ball wide. This time it's intercepted by Vaha Akolo. She loses it forward. Just a scrum advantage for the Wallaroos. Starting to open up this one. Robinson. Out the back door to Alessia. Here's Masters. She's had no room to move today. They've really done well shutting down Ash Masters, the Black Ferns. Michaela Leonard, oh, gets waxed there by Liana Makaitla. Two. See, the defence has been outstanding from the Black Ferns tonight. Especially in that first half. With closing down the space that the Wallaroos have with the ball. And Vaha Atolo, I haven't seen a lot of her tonight, but a couple of carries has been really good. Played that one test match for the league. For the Black Ferns in the league. That's what makes the Black Ferns the Black Ferns. 38-0 yeah. up, still defending like they're down. With vision from Arabella McKenzie, she was away. She pinned her ears back, she looked up, and there was a sea of Black Ferns jerseys all around her. Oh, the, just, the Black jersey just closed it up on her, didn't they? It was like a sea urchin closing. She's made a difference when she's come on, though. She's done very well, Bella McKenzie, coming from playing that tournament in the UK for Harlequin. Oh. Both her and Emily Chancellor and Laurie Kramer Bye. just come back into the team and had that experience. And she's been put away on the field for the Wallaroos. She's a real live wire. Has been Hudawai, amateur boxer. So don't get into a stink with her on the field. She will drop you. Excited to see. Or off the field. <laughs> yeah, correct. Jasmine Hudawai tonight. Up against this Blackburn team. The way she defends. Five, I think she was 100 kilos. Six. Yeah, a real live wire. As I said, and here she is, Hudawai. At a sire. Back to McKenzie again. The Outside in defence from the Black Ferns is elite. They just shut down everything the Wallaroos have got. Fredericks gets the ball around the corner to Moleka. Moleka, they stand off her. Fatala Moleka, the 18-year-old. And who do I there quickly? Chancellor. Ooh, that was solid from Mikaela Tu'u. He can go from Hoodie White, leaves it behind. Nagama dives on it. Still there for the Wallaroos. McKenzie using some swerving footwork to get the ball 10 out. It's there for Chancellor. Robinson, good continuity here from the Wallaroos. And the Black Ferns really putting pressure on it. The breakdown. Whistle goes. Unplayable. So it'll be a Wallaroo scrum. And this is a perfect attacking opportunity. The Wallaroos, they've picked up momentum, picked up an energy. Changes from the bench, having an impact in this second half. Okay, who do I keep going? Getting yourself into the game nice and early. That's how she plays, there's in theory around the edges and just around the breakdowns. And done so much with the Brumbies over the last couple of years in that number nine jersey and adds a little bit of spark coming on the field. And you've got to think about the Black Ferns and, and their team. Six debutants here tonight. No Portia Woodman, no Ruby Tui. Bit of a change in the guard for the Black Ferns. They've all stood up. Just six players from the Rugby World Cup final. Yeah. Picked tonight, so you're absolutely right. And a 
12 game winning streak the Black Ferns looking to make it lucky 13 tonight and in good position with 38 nil the score line Maleka has been impressive haven't, hasn't she Kiri yeah, she has the youngster scooting on the edge there a bit earlier and Wallaroos has certainly faced a battle tonight against the Black Ferns just an incredible forward pack but Prime position right now, about 10 metres from their line. Prime no! position for these fans who come out tonight on a chilly night Set! at Dolphin Stadium. Let's see what Arabella McKenzie can do here at first receive, if they can get some clean ball. Oh, Hamilton just immediately wrapped up by Bremner. No, and they're going backwards, the Wallaroos. Need bodies in to secure the ball. Now they get clean ball. And that one goes to absolutely nobody. Ellis Sire cleans up. Bit of confusion there. Now Masters. Oh, that's solid contact as well. It's just vicious, this Blackburn's defence. Unbreakable at the moment. Masters doing her best again. Just diving into the spokes. Is Ash Masters doing her best to get the ball over the advantage line. Good turnover. And that one is a penalty turnover. Luca Connor this time. Well, the Black Fins just not let anything through tonight. Ash Masters against Michaela Tu'u. Impact there. Turns relentless in defence. Done it for 70 minutes now. Not going to let this last 10 go either. That one doesn't find. It does eventually. Demat gets it there, but it was floating and holding up in that breeze for a bit. One thing that the Blackbirds have done so well is eliminating the threat from the Wallaroos. Grace Hamilton. One of the things that she's best at is grabbing that ball from the back of the scrum and giving go forward to her team. She hasn't been able to do that at all tonight. Ash Masters taking away her space, chopping her down. That's what they've been so good at, Kiri. You're absolutely right. That one left behind by Kendra Reynolds. It's a play on. Willison floats a long ball out to Nerangi Paul. And Paul puts it back inside. Under pressure. The Black Ferns out wide, Duplessis getting wrapped up. They've just got an answer for everything at the moment. The Black Ferns, flat pass there to Joanna Nanwu. A higher to Amy Rule. And with ease, they get it up to halfway. And that one's dribbled ahead by Rosie Kelly along the ground. Maleka, oh, evasive works, brilliant. And now. Ivania Wong with a little bit of room to move, but not much on that far touch line. And under pressure now, the Blackbirds just know when to attack that breakdown. Penalty advantage. In fact, it's just a scrum advantage. It came off a Blackbirds hand, so we'll have a Wallaroo scrum, but they've just got no answer for this Blackbirds defence at the moment. Blackburns that had their own handling errors tonight. It's not the most polished performance from the Blackburns, but everything they do is with intent and aggression. Every carry, every tackle. I think it's been the offload game for the Blackburns that the Wallaroos really struggled defensively. They fall off a couple of first up tackles, but also those offloads, after they're bending the defensive line, they're getting in behind and so confident to throw offloads away, but they know there's going to be two or three players around that breakdown. Malek at that time after receiving this kick probably came back the wrong way, probably needs to go open. How oh, nice to be able to bring you those pictures from up high here at Dolphin Stadium. Good shout out to the Australian women's water polo team who are here tonight watching on. Uh, got a training program going here. And we're in Brisbane, which will be at Olympic City in just under 10 years' time. So, 
you see the Australian women's water polo team coming out and supporting the, the Wallaroos here tonight. There for the Wallaroos. Oh, and Fredericks wrapped up. There for the Black Ferns. Elliot's to a oh, lovely pass. Deft hands there to Amy Duplessis. And the pick and go is relentless from Joanna Nan Wu. They just keep coming in waves, the Black Ferns. And that's a lovely line there from Bremner. What a try to the Black Ferns. Alana Bremner running a spectacular line. And as I said, they just keep coming. And that's another try to the world champions. The Black Ferns, it's down this right side again. Alana Bremner. Such a quality player, such a strong runner. The Black Ferns heading into these final minutes, the way they started, relentless. So, so we're going to have another yeah, look at this one. Just looking at the tackle. Oh, Bremner. The ball carry is so low. Oh, it's okay, but if it's a reckless action, we need to deal with it. Okay. I'm not sure who it was from... Wallaroos coming across in defence. Alessia came across late. Made the tackle on Bremner. And the leck up at the back. Looking some discomfort on the ground. So we're we'll about to have a look at this one. Great line though, wasn't it, from Alana Bremner. Like, came back on the right foot, 22 metres out, came back in field, got around Smith. This is the tackle here, right at the end. Whoa. Okay. Nothing to do on Just that Just an awkward view. finish, wasn't it? That's the worst live. Uh, She's grabbing at her is. foot there. Good tackle. Great line, though, wasn't it, from Bremer to come back in field. Okay. Uh, no, that's Maleka. fine. For me, it's just a messy tackle and overreaction. By Tala Maleka. You happy, Tim? Of course, the Wallaroos next couple of days, they, as I mentioned, head to Canada. You want to make sure you have your 18 year old fullback who, oh, her oh. right leg just gets caught awkwardly as Bremner slides in for the try. She's up and walking now, Maleka. That's a good sign. So the try stands, and Tanika Willison. It's her first test points. 45 plays nil with a few minutes to play here in Redcliffe. It's interesting to see what in the thoughts of Shannon Parry, who's here tonight, former captain of the Wallaroos and retired in the last test match against Fiji Arnold, the Wallaroos won. And it's been a four Rugby World Cups and a terrific gold medalist. And there's Maleka, as we see, going off the field her right. Oh, ankle caught underneath. So, at Shannon Parry, you watch you can try and talk to this Wallaroos team before they jump on a plane and go to Canada. Not going to turn it around. Characteristic mistake from Demont off the kickoff, but another opportunity for the Wallaroos. These dying minutes. Some points on the scoreboard. See Maleka looking too great on the sideline. Michael Lackinson on the sideline. Like it coming off, it was a, a tough tackle. It was. She's been one of the more impressive players for the Wallaroos tonight. And as we said, Tim, just at 18 years of age, I thought her showing tonight has been really, really positive. If some positive Australia you can take out of tonight is her. To Brent, there, just showing she is human with a little knock on. It's probably the first thing she hasn't done right tonight. She's been absolutely immense for the Black Ferns. Wallaroos, can they get some points on the board here in front of their home fans? When with the clock running down. Here at Dolphin Stadium, Brody O'Gorman. Oh, Stormont O'Gorman gets the offload away Tackle to her front row partner in Robinson. No, don't the Masters, dummy, little step. Really hasn't been able to light the fire oh, like she no, did 
against Fijiana a few weeks ago tonight, but this Black Ferns team really have been unbelievable in defence. Nagama, inside ball to Chancellor. Ball comes off a Wallaroo's hand. It went backwards. It's play on. The Aussie fans looking for something to cheer here. The kick going through and just getting it down in time was Rosie Kelly. It'll be a goal line dropout. One last chance here for the Wallaroos. Gary, when you look at the match so far, and 45 nil comprehensive to the Black Ferns, but I reckon the player of the match finished up in the battle. I think I'm in the 61st minute mark. Sylvia Brunt, two tries to her in that first half. She was outstanding and she's got a cross advantage on every time. Defensively great as well, but I'm going to tell you what, for a youngster, she's going to have a big career with the Black Ferns for a long time. She's been in everything tonight, Tim. The footwork, it's a match. And it's Sire underneath it. Mackenzie on the run back. And gets played back to the 22. Goody White. Robinson. And the big shot over the top coming from Crystal Murray. And he's shuck on the field. Getting a test cap. Nagama. Oh, with the big, don't argue. Sarah Nagama. See you later. Mackenzie stepping. But the ball is ripped out by Bremner and turned over. Stolen back, though, by the Wallaroos. O'Gorman inside out, outside in. Gets a big shot, but manages to retain the ball. Wallaroos going backwards, though. They have no answer for this. Rising Black Ferns tied. It just keeps coming. Has not stopped for 78 minutes and 50 seconds. No answer for the defence from the world champs, the Wallaroos. And the penalty eventually comes. It's patience, patience, patience from the Black Ferns, and they eventually get the pay. The Wallaroos just shifting, hoping for some kind of go forward. The Black Ferns responding at each and every turn. They play on quickly, the Black Ferns. Smart play in the breeze. And Willison kicks ahead. And the ball checks. It bounces over the top and Hoodie White dives on it. Wallaroos put the bodies into the breakdown. They've had to do it all night. It's been an extremely difficult night for this Aussie women's side. Chancellor. Added some energy, but gets turned. And turned over. Another steal. Luca Connor goes quickly. Black Ferns want one more. They want to raise the bat. They want 50 on the board. Here's Holmes. It's Duplessis spinning out of the tackle. Duplessis just brought down, but they keep it going. And Inatana Hohaya brings up 50 for the Black Ferns. What a way to finish this test match for the world champions. Well, the Black Ferns will finish this game as winners and also reminding everyone why they are the best in the world. Started off the back of Luca Connor taking the fast tap and then once again down this right side. Each and every player, lovely shift here. Amy Dupuis bouncing off Wallaroos defenders before finding Yeditana Mohaya. We'll cross on debut for the final try of the night. There's a couple of poor attempted tackles there, wasn't there, from the Wallaroos. That's a great line, though, from the Black Ferns. So everyone here, not just here at Redcliffe, the 7,500 people that came to watch, but everyone around the world, that the reason why they are world champions, defensively outstanding, offloads brilliant, and finish the game strong. Willison drags it across the face. 
But that is full time here at Dolphin Stadium. On a windy night here in Redcliffe, the Blackburns breeze past the Wallaroos. 50-0, the final score.